Hi, my name is Rebecca from PTC. Today I'm going to be showing you methods to create vectors and matrices. There's many different ways to do this within MathGAD, so today I'll only be showing you a few of the different ways. Let's begin! You can always create a matrix manually by going to the Matrices Tables tab at the top of the screen. You can insert matrix and select the number of columns and rows that you want to use. Then manually input the values. You can assign the matrix a variable and add units. You can do the same thing by using keyboard shortcuts. Control M is used to insert the matrix. It will show up as a single number and to add rows or columns, you can click Tab or Shift Space. Again, you can manually enter values. If you have a larger data set, you don't want to manually insert the values. In these cases, you can choose to import data from another file and store it in a matrix in MathCAD. If you have an Excel sheet with values, you can import them by using Read Excel located in the Input Output tab in the Data Import Export section. It will have you browse for the file you want and then select which cells in the Excel sheet you want to insert. As you can see, now when we call matrix, it will pull up the same data that was in the Excel sheet. You can drag the edges of the matrix if you only want to show a portion of it. Similarly, you can store data from a text file by using read text or read PRN. This is located under functions and in the file access tab. There are many more functions for reading files located here. This time, you will type the name of the file using quotation marks. Now when we call our matrix 2, you can see the values are displayed as a matrix. You can also copy and paste directly from an Excel worksheet. You copy the values you want to be stored in your MathCAD sheet and paste them where you want. This is inserted as a table and you can name the columns as well as assign units to them. You can call frequency and power and it will return the corresponding vector containing units. The last example I'm going to be showing today includes the built-in functions for vectors and matrices. This is found in the Functions tab and contains a variety of options to choose from. For example, if you call identity of 4, it will return a 4x4 four four matrix containing values of 1 in the diagonal and 0 for all other placeholders. Next, if we choose the diag function and use our matrix 2 from the previous example, it will return a vector of the values in the diagonal of the matrix 2. As you can see, if we call the matrix 2 here, these values have been returned. You can also write an equation containing variables and call the matrix function with the number of columns and rows specified. This will use the values of the row and columns to correspond to x and y and solve for the equations based on that. If you were to change the specification of columns or rows, the values will automatically solve. Thanks so much for watching and look out for more videos.